What is going on, you guys? Um, in this video, I got in a case of cards from Japan, which has quite the story to it. Um, I will say before we get started, it is a case of Pokemon cards. Um, and the story is actually pretty wild. But before I dive into that, my last Pokemon related video, um, I have since deleted the comment because a lot of people knew this person. But this person wrote like, oh, great, more Pokemon content. And it kind of bothered me a little bit because, like, when I watch y'all's channels, like, I don't watch a lot of it because I enjoy Baseball Hall of Famers. I kind of don't really give a damn about Baseball Hall of Famers. Or because uh, there's vintage cards. Kind of not a big fan of vintage cards. I like my vintage football cards as long as they're signed, but like, I don't want any unsigned vintage baseball cards. Um, I have a bunch of dudes I subscribe to that freaking are hockey collectors. I don't know a damn thing about hockey, nor do I want to learn about hockey, but I do want to support my friends and watch their videos and hit the do like and subscribe and all that crap. So it kind of bothered me, man. Like if you're here for I guess it's strictly just the football autographs or what have you. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. I wish you were here just to support me than, than that. Because, dude, this channel through the years, man, like every four or five years, I get a wild hair up my ass and I start collecting just totally different weird stuff, man. It was It's Pokemon right now. It was wrestling before this. It was NFL uh, Hall of Fame autographs before that. It was San Francisco Giants game used baseball bats before that. Um, and like just random low end at the time. I couldn't afford much um, when my channel started. Like low end baseball relics and low end baseball autographs. So in the 13 years that I've had this channel, man, <sighs> this thing's gone all over the place. So now that we're two and a half minutes in, I just tell you, if you want to watch it, awesome. I greatly Appreciate your support. If not, I guess I get it, man. So, anyways, I've been looking for a Japanese um, card dealer, um, vendor maybe, um, to sell me a, a sealed Pokemon cards from Japan, like that I could buy in mm. cases. And there's a particular set that came out about three, four months ago called 151, Pokemon 151. And it is like all the rage right now. Um, a lot of times in the Pokemon world, the product comes out and all of the prices are really high. And it kind of gradually goes down for quite a bit, four, five, six months, and then slowly, slowly ticks up and kind of does that. Well, these cards really aren't dropping. And they haven't really dropped. Um, and I've read some articles and I've watched a couple YouTube videos that the Japanese 151 that Pokemon came out and said they're not doing a reprint, which is ex extremely uncommon in Pokemon. They always reprint stuff at least once, sometimes twice, um, hell, sometimes even three times. But they said they weren't going to do this. Well, this is also the most popular set that has came out in the past 10 years. And so I kind of started putting things together and I'm like, dude, like I need to buy a case of this Japanese 151. And I went on eBay and they were expensive as shit, dude. They were like three grand, 3,200, um, all over the place. So, like, how weird things happen, you know, you're searching and then all of a sudden you start getting commercials and sponsored ads and all this. I started getting sponsored ads from people that were Japanese distributors. And I wrote this gentleman, and, and I can't pronounce his name, um, but I wrote him and was like, hey, I told him my story. Hey, you know, this is who I am. Um, this is what I'm interested in. I'd like to start a, a relationship of, of buying things from you. Um, do you have... A, a case of Pokemon 151. 
And he was like, I sure do. And I'll sell it to you for 2100 bucks. And I'm like, that's about $900 cheaper than I can find it here in the States. And most of those cases that I told you were like three grand, most of those were Japanese sellers. Um, so I was like, dude, this is so juicy, man. And so I sent him money via PayPal and he kind of ghosted me for like a day or two. And I wrote him like, hey man, like, I uh, just wanted to see if you were able to mail that case out. And he's like, no, it's the weekend. FedEx is closed on Saturday and Sunday in Japan. And he's like, I'll get it out Monday or Tuesday. Cool. So I wrote him yesterday. And I was like, hey, man, you're starting to make me very nervous. I sent you a ton of money. I haven't heard from you. Um, this is our first transaction. I'm like, if you don't mail out the case by COB today, which, you know, yesterday, uh, I'm like, just please refund me my money. And he wrote me back and said, oh, you, you should have checked your email and you should have a tracking number. Long story short, we went back and forth. I didn't have a tracking number. And he sent me a tracking number. And he's like, it was actually mailed off two days ago. I'm like, okay. So that conversation was yesterday. And like the package arrived today from Japan, um, which I don't know the exact math on how many hours they are ahead of us but it's about a day um so this package says it was shipped on the 22nd of january which on my computer it says today's the 23rd of january which is pretty crazy dude from japan man i can't get a package up to my boy up in canada um canadian mike it takes like a week okay this is freaking freaking from japan dude and it came in like three days. So, yeah, look at all this. I, I think that's called kanji. I'm, and if I'm if I'm wrong, I, I apologize. I don't mean to be offensive. I believe that's what it's called. Um, their writing. So, this is it. Um, it's still sealed. This is a box. The case should be inside. But I told you all that story because I kind of want to open it on camera. Um, especially since this is my first transaction and this case um, dude has gone up like two or three hundred dollars like in the past three four days since I purchased this it's already gone up more um, the English the, the English Pokemon people said they are doing a reprint of the English version um, and when that came out dude, these things like I said it went up um, three, four hundred bucks, whatever it may be. So, oh, baby. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. This bad boy is minty fresh, dude. Holy smokes. Um, there it is, 151 right there. Obviously, you can see that that is Japanese. Um, this is a big boy, man. This is a big boy freaking purchase. Sealed case. It does look like, it probably looks like the seam is busted there. Um, but as you can see, like, that's not moving. So it was just sealed like that. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that story. Um, this is such a freaking huge success, man, that this came from me so excited that I found a Japanese distributor to thinking I got fleeced, um, thinking I got ghosted and, and taken for, you know, think after fees and shipping and all that. I think it was like 2400 bucks um, to holding it, you know, in my freaking hands and not only holding it in my hands, but this case is in amazing condition. So, um, sorry there's no sports in this one. Hope you all enjoyed the story. Until next time, audios, be safe. Bye-bye. Doodles.